everybody, Tulin here. So today I am going to be doing another makeup video for all of you guys. It is going to be this look I have here. It is a gray lipstick paired with a kind of a neutral eyeshadow, but it's kind of purpley. Um, it's hard to see on camera the actual true color, but I'm gonna put pictures at the end so you guys can see the actual color and what it looks like. I'm in a good mood today because yesterday I had all my friends over that I met here in Texas. And it was really awesome, so I had all of them over, we all had a couple drinks, it was really fun, and we had a good time, so I'm very excited today, it was pretty humid, to be honest with you, and Texas weather is like crazy, like, it's like no other, like after living in Canada, coming here, it's just like so hot, the amount of sweet tea can't curb this like, thirst and dehydration, it's just, it's unbelievable. I'm very excited because I'm going to be moving into a new apartment very soon. So when I get to my new apartment, I'm definitely going to be doing kind of like a, this is my new apartment video, I don't know what you call this, but I plan on um, kind of organizing all my makeup and stuff and doing my own little beauty counter in my room or somewhere in the apartment, some Tulin beauty space. So I'm very excited about that, so once I move into the new part place, it will be June 10th, I believe. I will definitely make a new video for you guys then. Okay, so I have a lot of pets. I have a huge, huge, huge love for rodents of all variety. I have five rats. I have Doris, Juno, Araya, Sadie, and Rue. So I have five of those rats. They're in the cage back there. I'm sure you've seen them in my other videos. I also have two guinea pigs, but they kind of belong to my boyfriend, they were a Valentine's Day present, so I have two guinea pigs, but one of them are here to say hello. This is my little guinea pig. She is, what are you doing with your foot? What are you doing with your little foot? This one is Frenchie, and the other one is Milkshake, so we have like Milkshake and French Fry, because they kind of go together. Um, they are both such sweethearts, and the actually funny story, we adopted them from Petco, and they actually ended up being our friends. Um, Haley, she ended up putting the pets up for adoption and we adopted them and she's like, those are my guinea pigs. So, they ended up being ours. And we love them very, very much. Alright, so, I think I've spoken enough. You guys have met my guinea pigs, so I'm very excited about that. I hope you guys like the video and... Starting with my Femme Couture Get Primed Oil Free Face Primer. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand and just with my fingertips I'm going to blend this all over my face, nice and evenly, so my product stays nice and blended and smooth on my face. Avoid your eyelids because you'll be using a separate primer for that. Also with the Femme Couture Flawless Touch Eye Primer, I'm going to put this on my lids and blend it out into my face primer so my whole face is properly primed, ready to go. And just make sure it's nice and smooth because we don't want it to be splotchy. Or else your eyeshadow will be blended nice and smooth. Next, I'm using my favorite Kat Von D Locket Foundation in shade 42. With a BH Cosmetics brush, I'm just going to put this all over my skin, nice and evenly. And the reason I start with a brush rather than my beauty blender is because I find the blender just absorbs the moisture and the product too much. So I like to start with a brush and put that all over my face, avoiding the edges. So once it's nice and smooth, I'm going to take my beauty blender and just push it into my under eye and along my hairline so it's nice and blended evenly. And I'll just pat all the rest of my face down just so it's nice and smooth. Next, with my Urban Decay Naked Eye Concealer, I'm going to stick this under my eye in a triangle formation. Sort of. <laughs> and I'm going to take my beauty blender and buff it out using the pointy side near the inner part of my eyelid and an under eye. Once that's all smooth, I like it for, to sit a minute so I'll just vape away. And then I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow with my Sephora brush in the shade Ash Brown. And I'm going to take this and do my brows. So, I mean, everyone does their brows a certain way. If you want me to do an in-depth way on how I do my brows, comment below and I'll do that eventually, but 
I am um, the biggest thing I do is I always start with the tail and then I'll flick upwards near the inner part of my eyebrow just to kind of give that fake hair effect and it's sort of like a little bit of an ombre the whole gradient brow that's in So once my brows are done, it is time to contour the crap out of my face. I am going to take the Kat Von D Shade & Light Contour Palette and with a little brush I got from Sephora, which I'm not sure the brush, but it's a little travel size, it's perfect. I start with the somber shade, which is the one on the far left that I pointed to, and I'm going to buff it into my skin. And I kind of go a little crazy with my contour, so obviously you don't have to do it as crazy as I do, but for this look I like a pretty intense cheek and contour. Next I'll be using the darker shade on the far right there and I'm going to put that just a little bit into the corners, not as far as I took the first shade, and buff that in just a little bit to give it more of a harsher effect. Finally I'm taking that middle shade there with a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to do a little three shape on my face from the top of my hairline down to my cheekbone and then to my jawline and I'm just going to kind of blend this out. This is uh, kind of act like my bronzer and that just kind of smooths away all the lines you just did and I'll kind of rub it along my forehead as well to blend that all out. And I lock it in with the e.l.f. high definition powder again with another fluffy brush. I'll just put that all over my face just to smooth it out because sometimes I cake it on too much and this just blends it all out and I like using a translucent powder for this reason just to smooth away all the harsh lines and my face is ready to go after that. So once it's all ready to go, it'll kind of look like this, and I'm going to start doing my eyeshadow. So with the BH Cosmetics Day and Light Palette, I'm using this brown shade on the bottom there with a big fluffy brush. I'm going to put that into the sides of my eyes, and the biggest thing is blend, 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 as I'm sure you've heard a million times. I like using fluffy brushes. It's a little intimidating at first to use a big brush, but the fluffier, the better it's going to blend out, especially for this look. So that's the important thing to achieve this look. So I'll do it to the both sides of my eyes with that brown shade. And just blend away. And you can take your time with this, just make sure it's nice and blended and smooth and it's not really harsh. And I like to kind of do a little bit of a triangle shape if you can see there, just to accentuate my eye shape. Next I will take this pink shade that I was pointing to, it's kind of a glittery shade, it's not very matte, and I'm just going to press that in with a smudge brush, and I pack that onto my inner lids, blend it into the sides. And there's not much blending you need for this because it's such a light shade, but I'll just kind of pack it on, and then dip it over to the dark side. And I'll also take that shade right under my eye, so I'll just take the very tip of it and very slowly press along the bottom of my eye just to kind of brighten that up. And so that's what your eyeshadow should look like. I'm going to take my random brand of eyeliner that I got from Sally's. I really don't know the brand and I wouldn't even recommend it. So I don't know why it's in this video, but it's something I just found around the house and I ran out of my Kat Von D liner. But I'm using this and I will just line my eyes doing a simple cat eye and a very little short wing on the end. Next I'm taking the Palladio Pencil Eyeliner, which is also from Sally's. I went on a Sally's binge the other day, and I will be using this to line my top waterline. And then I'm going to stick on these lashes onto my face. These are the Ardell lashes, the Demi ones. And I'm just going to press these onto my lids. This one won't cooperate, so I'm just going to keep trying. And there's my boyfriend. super silly. Okay, 
so once your boyfriend is done saying hello, then I'm going to keep fixing my eyelashes and I'm going to curl them. And do a little dance to pass the time. Next, I'm just going to take this fake lash Femme Couture Mascara. And I'm going to apply it to my lashes just a little bit, focusing on the bottom parts and then quickly swiping it up. And I'm also going to do the bottom of my lashes as well. Lastly, I'm finishing off with the Lime Crime Matte Gray Lipstick. It is a liquid to dry, and I love this lipstick. It is my go-to. You do have to apply a couple of layers to get it fully opaque, but it is a lovely shade. And I like pairing this up with neutral eyes. I just feel like it kind of completes the look. And adds a little bit of spunk to your look, which is nice, because I don't like pairing it up with a neutral lip just because I find it's too simple for me, so I like using this shade. Lastly, I'm finishing up with the Urban Decay Setting Spray, and I'm going to put this all over my face and let it all set, and we are done. So this is the finished look. This is in daylight, so I wanted to add these photos to get a better idea of what the makeup actually looks like. much for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can tune in for more videos. I'm also going to be doing a boyfriend tag soon, so stay tuned for that. He will be doing my makeup. And other than that, I don't think there's much else to say, but I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. That was so bad. <laughs>